Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm doing a review of a nail polish collection that I've had for a while. Um, it's part of the China Glaze Offshores collection that hit stores this summer. Um, I don't have all of the collection. There are 12 bottles in total, but I only got five. I just felt like some of the colors in the collection were ones I already had from like other brands or they were just colors I would never wear. And truthfully, two of the colors I bought, I honestly am probably never going to wear again. Um, but I'm going to talk about the ones I do have. So I put them all here on my swatch wheel to show for you. Um, just because I didn't have time to take pictures of them on my nails because I tried it and the lighting was really weird. So I just, I got fed up. But here are the colors that I do have. I have a purple, a blue, two of the greens, and a red. And they had really pretty yellows and pinks as well. It was a lot of like neon polishes, but I feel like, especially the ones that I do have here, they're not really technically neons. They're just really, really bright colors. I'm going to talk first about the purple one because it was honestly the hardest one of the five to work with. Here is what it looks like. It is called Extra C. I'll show you that. Um, now, it's a really pretty purple color. I do like the color. It was just a really hard formula to work with. All of the um, polishes are cream formula, but this was just, I wouldn't really call it streaky, but it was patchy. Like, I had to put three coats on my nails just so it wouldn't look so patchy, but then it would just get really, like, thick and goopy and really hard to work with. So it's not my favorite, and it seems to be kind of like a jelly-like formula. Like, it wasn't a typical cream polish that I've been used to, because I have a lot of creams, and I just don't think I've ever seen that particular finish to a cream. And I'm going, probably rambling about something you don't even understand what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, as much as I really like the color, I don't like the formula of this one. The next one is my favorite, and it's this really pretty sea blue color and it's called wait and see and it's a really pretty blue color I don't have anything like this in my collection I thought I might have but then I went and compared a couple of the polishes side by side um, it's just a really pretty deep sea blue color one of my favorites it was also a little patchy just like the purple one but not quite so bad. I did get away with two coats on my nails. So yeah, I will. I look forward to using this again. The next one, I got two greens. And don't ask me why I did. I'm not a fan of green polishes. And like I said, I will probably never really wear these. I might actually give them to my sister. First one is this really neon green. This is called Sure Enough. And it looks kind of grass green or neon highlighter green. Here is a swatch of it. This was very, very streaky. I did have to use three coats to get opaqueness on my nails, um, just so you couldn't see the streaks. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of green nail polish. I don't think it looks very flattering on my skin tone. Um, so I probably will not use this again. The other green is more of like a yellow green. This one is called Be More Pacific. And this is like just a yellow pea green. It looks kind of like that green slime they used to use on Nickelodeon. Do you, anybody remember when they used to slime people at the Nickelodeon Awards? Um, but yeah, that's what this reminds me of. This was not as streaky. It was a very thick formula so one coat was pretty good I just used two for good measure I like the formula I just don't I don't like the color I mean it just does not look good <laughs> at all just I can't get over it next is my second favorite color this is called seize the day and it's a really pretty bright red I wouldn't call this a neon per se it's just really bright um, it will be really nice around Christmas time. I did layer this with glitter and it looked really nice here. I'll actually show you the glitter I, nailed, I put on top of it. I actually ended up putting one of the OPI Sands polishes. I don't know the name of this, but it was in the Mariah Carey collection. And I put it over top of this on my ring finger as an accent nail. 
and it looked really nice. I really liked the effect. It went really well together. Um, so yeah, this will be really nice for the holidays. And now the camera is looking kind of pink, but it's not pink. It's a very vibrant red color. But anyway, there are also some really pretty pink colors in this collection. But like I said, I feel like I have, them. I have a lot of pink nail polish. So I skipped them. I might go back though, because it would be nice just to have the whole collection because I'm a hoarder like that. And I need to be, need to rein it in, keep it under control. Okay, so here is the swatch wheel again. Get four of these in a little like kit selection. Um, and I can't remember what the collection was. I can't remember which four I got it in, but Ulta had it and it was like $14. So I bought four of them like that and then I picked like one more out of the little like um, display. And I might go see if they have more. They're probably going to start marking them down for clearance because the fall collection is going to be coming in, which I'm really excited about. And I'm looking forward to getting it. Also, China Glaze has a uh, collection for the movie The Giver, which I just saw swatches online. It looks so freaking beautiful. So I'm going to pick those up and do a review as well. But if you liked this video, leave me a thumbs up and leave some comments below um, if you have any questions. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.